This sentence completion is pretty straightforward, especially since it's number one. You'd expect that. In light of the fact their research results are blank, it has been suggested the scientists are premature in calling a news conference to announce success. Okay, if you look at this, the key word here is they are premature. That means and implies that the research is incomplete, not finished. Well, down at C, we have unfinished. And our definitions down here are pretty straightforward of these words. The only one you might have a question about would be unquestionable, which means beyond question or something that's certain. So, in light of the fact their research results are unfinished, it has been suggested that scientists are premature in calling a news conference to announce success. C is your answer. In this sentence completion, we've got several things at play. Although the dry summers make the plants appear dead, they can blank the long dry spell and usually blank when the rains of fall arrive. Okay, first thing, we've got a word of contrast, although. So that means we've got some contrast, we have some tension in this passage. Something is different from another thing. Let's look at our clues. The plants appear dead from a long dry spell. So they're going to do something else when the rains of fall arrive. Okay, the implication is they're going to survive or get through the long dry spell and then recover when the rains come. Well down in our answer choices if we look at it we can see that in C they endure the long dry spell and flourish which means to recover when the rains arrive. Some interesting definitions here too. This is not an easy uh, set of definitions to deal with. If something regresses it goes back or returns. You withstand something, you resist it, you get through it. But the flip side of that, wilt, which means to droop or weaken, wouldn't be appropriate for the second block. Now when something they could resist, we know what that word means down in D, but again wither doesn't work because it would be to dry up or shrivel. And to weather something when it's a verb means to endure or bear up against something. So we have C, endure and flourish, as our correct answer choice. This is another one that's fairly straightforward. With numerous memorial portraits, busts, and letters of remembrance, the college blanks its illustrious alumni. Okay, now illustrious means famous to honor or remember these people. When we look at it, these are memorial portraits and they're letters of remembrance. So, if we look down at our answer choices, belittle means the opposite, means to reduce somebody in their esteem, to slight somebody, uh, to magnify means to enlarge, and disparage means the same thing as belittle, to run somebody down. But D, to memorialize them, is to make a, something memorable for them, of them, about them. Here we have another double uh, blank question to answer. In studying the behavior of children at play, one must exercise blank in order to prevent blank the interaction of the children. Okay, what are we doing? We're studying the behavior and the children are playing. So someone must exercise something to prevent blank the interaction. Kind of looks like you must exercise caution in order to prevent interrupting, bothering, um, having an effect on the interaction of the children because you're trying to observe them at play. Well if you look down the answer choices, discretion means to be wisely practical or prudent. Interrupting would be interfering with the interaction of the children. So D is our answer. Now, a few of the other words, uh, jeopardizing something, not sure where they got the name of the game show Jeopardy, but if you're in Jeopardy, you're in danger. So to jeopardize something is to expose it to danger. And if someone is enticed or something is an enticement, it's an attraction or a temptation. But D is our answer choice here. Now, if you had trouble with all those definitions that we were throwing out, Look at what you're doing. You're trying to prevent doing something to the interaction. So you want, might want to prevent influencing it, 
or interrupting it. None of the others would fit, and you wouldn't want to exercise excitement. You'd want to prevent excitement. So even if you're not sure of discretion, there are ways to squeeze the correct answer choice out of these problems. Now we're starting to get into some tougher questions. Not only do we have a double blank to fill, but the definitions are getting tougher. African American novelists writing currently are blank new and more blank depictions of their culture and heritage to replace misrepresentations found in literature of the past. Okay, a depiction is simply a representation or a showing of something. And they're trying to replace misrepresentations found in literature of the past. Okay, so these depictions they would want to, if they're replacing misrepresentations, the representations they're using now, they want to be good ones. If we look at the second words, mysteries doesn't work. Misrepresentative doesn't work. Customary, hmm, that's kind of weak. Customary just means usual. Liberated means set free. But accurate would fit there. And if we look at the first blank, generated means to produce or create. So if they're generating new ones, they're producing or creating new and more accurate depictions. So even if you're unsure of enhancing, revising, and refuting, you've ruled those out because the second one doesn't fit. And finding the second one was really the easier answer choice to find. Uh, for your information, refuting means to disprove. If you revise something, you're correcting it. And if you enhance something, you're improving it. Now we're getting in the difficult section. And usually, if you see a fairly straightforward, easy sentence like this one, they're going to beat you over the head with tough vocabulary. The radio announcer's wit was so blank that even the subject of his barbs smiled amiably. Well, first of all, barbs are insults. And if someone is amiable, they're friendly. Now, if you don't know what those mean, you still have that even the subjects of his blank smiled. His wit then has got to be good. That's the implication you got to take out of it. Okay, if you look down the answer choices, harsh, we know what that means. It means the opposite of good. If something is subtle, it's delicate or slight. That might work here. Something that's caustic is harsh, biting, mean-spirited, Something that terse is brief, succinct to the point, but can be kind of blunt. And if something's intractable, it's stubborn. Subtle is not a great answer here, but it's certainly the best one we've got. Now, since this sentence is pretty much a vocabulary play, these are more difficult to steal to get by the process of elimination. But we could rule out harsh. Caustic doesn't sound right. Terse, intractable. Subtle has a more favorable sound to it, if that's all you're left with. Again, working on your vocabulary pays off. This is another tough one. The brothers never quarreled, and their dislike of blank often caused them to blank their real feelings whenever they disagreed. Okay, they never quarreled. That's crucial. and they, So that means they have a dislike of something. Well, they have a dislike of fighting or of conflict. And so what would they do with their real feelings whenever they disagreed? Well, they'd hide them. Okay, if we look down our answer choices, we get to A pretty quickly. They su To suppress means to subdue or hold down. And contention, contending, that's when you're competing. So contention would be disagreement or conflict. Let's go through the other answer choices though to make sure. Anxiety means you're anxious or unhappy. To divulge something means to reveal it, so they wouldn't reveal their real feelings. Impudence is disrespect or antagonism. And if you stifle something, you do subdue it, so that would work okay. But in impudence is showing disrespect, so that's not going to work. They wouldn't dislike normality, because that's the state of being normal. And they certainly wouldn't intensify their real feelings. Now, if you assert something, you're declaring it clearly. And antagonism, they would ha they would be have a dislike of antagonism, but they wouldn't declare clearly their real feelings when they disagree. That just doesn't make much sense. 
So that confirms A is our correct answer. This is another vocabulary question. Faulkner was universally praised for use of blank language, his ability to portray the rhythms and language of the rural southern region where his characters lived. Okay, we want something that portrays a region. And he's praised for this, so it's something that's good. Well, if we look down in the answer choices, if something is urbane, it's sophisticated. Something colloquial, however, is informal characteristic of a familiar area. Checking the other ones, cosmopolitan, again, sophisticated. Boorish is something that's crude, unpleasant. And if something's paradoxical, it's confusingly contradictory. So, Faulkner was universally praised for his use of colloquial language, his ability to portray the rhythms and language of the rural southern regions where his characters lived. Perfect definition for that. 